A salon shop is spreading joy in Ridley Park. Its secret Santa campaign is once again brightening the holiday season. Eyewitness News reporter Lisa Reed with the inspiration behind this tradition of giving. It all started with this woman, Brooke O'Kane, who felt compelled to give back during the holidays. While she was checking out, she left a $100 bill and said she wanted to pay for somebody's hair. Three years later, Secret Santa has become a Christmas tradition at Lux and Roses. We chose people as they were sitting in their, my chair telling me their story, or they chose somebody who they thought could use a boost. So far this year, more than 22 people have donated more than $1,500 to make someone else's day brighter. Some people donate 10, some people donate 40, some people donate 100. Recipients include a cancer patient, single mom, students, a grieving mother who recently lost a son, someone currently down on their luck, and one girl who lost both parents on the same day to a drug overdose. I felt like Oprah the other day. There was a whole <laughs> bunch of people in here getting secret Santa. So I'm like, you're a secret Santa. You're a secret Santa. In addition to clients donating money to help fellow customers, stylists also donate their time to make the holidays a little bit brighter. Sometimes we don't have the money left over and we still keep doing it. Customers are excited about the tradition. I had a single mom. She had three kids and she, you know, struggled around the holidays. So I always like to give back around the holidays however I can. Shop owner Michelle Cordham keeps the memory of her mom alive. She passed a few months after the shop opened in 2018. That was her thing. She loved to give. She was all about giving more than receiving. And those that need it welcome the help. I truthfully almost canceled my appointment because I didn't want to juggle my kids and um, money's tight this time of year always. For dozens of customers, it will be a very Merry Christmas. Reporting from Ridley Park, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News.